There's also a renewed emphasis on interagency collaboration, which has led to tangible gains in prosecuting the war against insurgency. <coughs> There's a gentleman on my far right. Uh, what's that your name again? It's we are colleagues. Ebashiwa. Dahiru. Dahiru is apparently a specialist in these fields. We always jam each other. The last time on this issue, we met again. So we are working. Uh, there's a terrible Yoruba proverb. A chicken is sweating, but you cannot see it because of the feather. At the end of the he had a new jari. He is sweating, but you cannot see because of government is working. Nigeria is big, but <laughs> kudos to His Excellency President uh, Muhammad Buhari. The renewed interagency collaboration is very strong. We have several departments, the diplomatic community, the DSS, the military, Air Force, Navy, everybody's involved. And of course today you are here, our witness. Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Rabo and other service chiefs, they have shown their passion and they have demonstrated the best attempts war against insurgency and within the country, the insecurity. Ladies and gentlemen, can I say my parents, my friends, and the general public, it's a past mark we have given to the government effort in addressing the country's security challenges. Human right has not been, has, has not been trampled upon. Tell me one. Mention just to say that human rights has not been trampled upon. Then you say Nigeria is doing well. Of recent, we heard of the one in America where police officers brutally murdered, you know, one of the citizens of America, irrespective of, of um, color. And the whole world attention was called to it. This is a nation, you know, that Nigeria is Nigeria looks upon as a model. What they practice, the democracy they practice that you have adopted today is from them. A nation that can give birth to us in six folds, yet there's still a challenge of security in this state. My prof just said something here. Very content point. He said, in respect of the fact that Nigeria's security is overstretched, yet they have achieved a significant goal. They've achieved, you know, a goal that it will be difficult for anybody to write off. It's a proper definition of a Nigerian citizen. His opening prayer, he said, the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. He said it in Arabic. And then also said, we open this meeting in the name of Jesus. It, what he has demonstrated there is the unity of faith between Islam and Christianity. And indeed, both religions are one from the same source. You can't, you can't even be a Muslim without being a Christian. And being a Christian is as much as being a Muslim, because Islam means submission to the will of God. And so while Muslims have submitted the will of God through the Quran that was revealed through Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Christians have also submitted to the will of God through the gospel as revealed through Christ Jesus the Messiah, peace be upon him. So that is the fundamentals of faith. And the purpose of faith, faith, not religion, religion is man-made, faith is divine. It was man that interpreted faith into something that was violent, that destroys man. Faith originally was conceptualized by God Almighty to preserve the life and property of humanity. It's a memorable occasion as we convey and present to the general public the report of the efforts of the government against the insurgency, Boko Haram, and all that is destroying the nation.
or like the lecturers who spoke today have said, there's no other nation that we have. Nigeria is the only nation that we have. It is our responsibility to defend that nation. And if you have the president of the Republic, my eternal boss, as a former director general at NIPS, present this to the general public in support of our men in the military and in support of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.